Hello everyone, this is Charles Wallenfried back again with another pairing video, cigar pairing. And today we're talking about alternatives to the usual. The alternative to having a good cognac or a good scotch. How about something different? And I have two wonderful spirits that will be different for you. Maybe you are tired of sc scotch. Maybe you're tired of cognac. That's okay. I have some ideas for you that make for great pairing with a cigar. And here they are. Starting out, we have Armagnac. Armagnac is very similar to cognac, especially in the flavor profile. It's just a little bit, I would say, a little bit more bold. And also, the flavors are... Um, have a little bit more spice to them but all in all it's it's a very similar uh, uh, spirit and it's almost exact same spirit it's just like uh, what I talked about before with scotches being made in different uh, areas different regions Armagnac is made in a different region and it's uh, a, what is this southwest France uh, Gascony, if I'm saying that correctly, it's made there in a different portion. It's not made in cognac. Uh, cognac is, uh, again, made in different portion of France or different region of France, made with different grapes. Also, the, one of the biggest things is the column steel. They're, it's made from a column steel, a, a vice, a pot steel. So that's another little small thing that makes Armagnac different than Cognac. And again, maybe you don't like Cognac, maybe you want a different profile, or you want to try something different, just a little bit different, but you know it's not uh, Cognac, Armagnac could be the way to go. As far as price, uh, Armagnac can be comparable to uh, the prices of Cognac for the most part. But there's no low level, no real, no, there's no like VS $30 bottle of Armagnac. There is no such thing. And Armagnac can be kind of difficult to find. I have only seen Armagnac in a small amount of places. And whenever I see it, I pick it up and I buy it because it is rare to have an actually storefront. You'll be uh, probably uh, better off trying to order online for, for Armagnac. It's just some places it's almost impossible to find. It's not as a, it's not as big and um, popular as Cognac. So it is a little bit more difficult. Now, the next one is Anejo Rum. Anejo Rum is quite different than your regular rum. I would not dream of pairing a course a white rum with cigars and I wouldn't do a, a brown or dark rum with cigars only would I consider pairing a, a cigar in rum would be a Nejo rum now a Nejo rum is the translation is just simply aged rum a lot of these all four of these different spirits are, have that commonality of being barrel aged. They're all barrel aged for quite a few years. And that produces that woody flavor. All of them have that woody flavor. And then also the wonderful thing, especially this one, and I'll get into it later, but this uh, rum, this uh, Anejo rum is super smooth. So the longer you age something, it smooths out the alcohol burn. You'll still have the alcohol content, but the alcohol burn will just get smoothed out very, very nicely. Okay, let's talk about this rum in particular. This is Don Q Grand Anejo. Now this is absolutely wonderful. I've had this quite a few times and man, this is absolutely wonderful. I just look forward to drinking this every time I get a chance. This Don Q is Puerto Rican Anejo rum. They have other Anejo rums, uh, such as Mexican Anejo rum. And then you may have heard of Anejo with tequila. It is 
there's a tequila anejo also and it's all like i said all barrel aged it's smoother and also it has a wonderful earthier more sub, uh, sophisticated flavor it 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 gets you a little bit different and actually honestly it kind of tastes like if you mixed a really good rum with a really good cognac that's what this tastes like especially but that's what anejo rum will taste like which makes it good or wonderful for pairing with a cigar all right one last thing about this particular uh grand anejo compared to all the rest of these this cost me uh just under 70 dollars but for what are you getting rum is much cheaper rum is much cheaper than all of these all of these these uh so all these spirits so if you're considering something really you want to have something really nice but you don't have the great budget for it this particular grand anejo has been aged for uh, 12 years, 9 to 12 years, this Grand Anejo has been aged. A lot of times, a XO Cognac has to be aged that long. And to buy an XO Cognac for around $70, it's probably not that good of a Cognac. Um, a lot of times, if I, I buy a cheaper Cognac company, a brand that doesn't uh, warrant high prices, if I would just buy their XO. And their XO is as good as um some bigger names vsop but this particular grand anejo is spectacular absolutely spectacular the the flavor profile of the of of the wood woody flavor and the um the deep um earthy molasses flavor and it's and it's not overbearing it's that's the wonderful thing too there's no strong bitterness it's no bite it's just absolutely smooth and the alcohol burn is very very light okay everyone this is charles wallingford aka the cigar rookie aka the cigar guy yes i'm in a transition period but you have four wonderful spirits to choose from sometimes even though the cognac and the scotch are the most paired and most popular sometimes you want to have something different something different different flavor profile but not too far out there maybe you want some armagnac or some anejo rum give them a try and this is how i spent my money how would you spend your money